back again, Ruthie from the East Coast and Kyle from the West Coast, actually on the coast now, Ruthie, with Tell Us. Today we have three points. Number one, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, the 60th year of her coronation. Tell us about that. Number one, the Queen looked lovely. Cute little white hat, cute little white suit. She went down a, a beautiful barge. They had music. The music's, I think, the biggest deal that's going on now. And always, of course, Kate Middleton's outfits. She, and she's The woman is divine, just divine. And she's got this beautiful red suit she's wearing with a almost a Peter Pan-like tilted to the side off off of her gorgeous dark hair, little hat that, that's there. Just, she just knocks it out of the ballpark. Sir Paul McCartney sang for her two songs that I question as to their appropriateness. She, he sang All My Lovin' and Live and Let Die. I mean, the woman's getting up there. So I, I, I'm thinking, and with All My Lovin', I'm thinking, Paul, close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you. I don't know, Ruthie. Just the whole idea of making out with Her Highness. Yeah, I think no. Then Stevie Wonder comes up with, Isn't She Lovely? Completely appropriate. Then Stevie invites a member of the Black Eyed Peas on to join him. And he sings Happy Birthday to the Queen, obviously having no clue as to what the event was all about. It wasn't her birthday, was it? It wasn't her birthday. It's the anniversary of her coronation as Queen of England. She's been there 60 years. Now, the other wonderful thing, I heard something grand. I heard it from you first. Madonna, what happened? Well, Madonna has decided to keep on top of being the material girl and the original. She is doing a world tour again. She's in Tel Aviv, and she flashes on the screen behind her a swastika, which didn't go over too well. In Israel. Why would That's, she do that? Because let's get back in the papers. Let's be controversial. And then she sang Lady Gaga's I Was Born This Way, which is Lady Gaga's song. Letting Lady Gaga know, girl, no, no. I was the original Born This Way girl. Yeah. So she's not aging gracefully is what you're saying. She is aging fabulously. Oh, my goodness. If you haven't seen her, she, she, she is an advertisement for growing older fabulous. She, she's just drop-dead gorgeous. Gorgeous. I, How, I happen to know that Madonna is no stranger to plastic surgery. And there's no way that a woman her age is going to look like that just by nature alone. So I am not going to say that someone with that type of wealth just happens to look that fabulous of course she looks fabulous well i don't have that wealth and i'm no stranger to a nip and a tuck which is where i've been all this time recovering from a couple of things but gosh do i look good nonetheless you look stunning and i paid for it but but excellent but anyway back here in california stunning i do <laughs> i do I'm Susan. Even I want. I me. want pictures to post on the site. I want the world to see you. Can I show my belly? I got a tummy tuck. Everyone should see my belly. But I'm of showing, course. I'm showing my belly to everybody. They they don't even have to ask. But speaking of wanting to show off in California, I'm telling you, I, 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 I showed her belly to my husband on via Skype, and we had to put him to bed and give him his medicine. My belly is fabulous. Tummy tuck. It's the way to go. However, also showing off in California is Mrs. Clint Eastwood. Dina Eastwood now has her own reality show called Mrs. Eastwood and Company. And I do want to be invited. Maybe that will up the ratings if they invite me down there because I'm probably 20 minutes from their home. But nonetheless, they're, she's showing how things are at the house. But Clint really doesn't want to have anything to do with this show at all. So it's Mrs. Eastwood and Company, and, and Company is her daughter, who's lovely, by the way. Miss Clint makes beautiful babies, no, no question about it. And his daughter by a previous relationship. So that's what's going on. And, and you just follow him around the house, yawn. And then Dina was asked, can't you get Clint to do more 
shows. Can't you talk about Clint? And she said, when he says no, he means no. And the sadness about that is that Mrs. Clint would, es una mujer hispana, and the Hispanic community should be backing her up. Es increíble que ustedes no la estén apoyando. Con permiso. What did you call Mrs. Eastwood just now? A Hispanic woman and that... No, you called her Mrs. Clintwood or something like that. <laughs> you have to leave that in. I like that, Mrs. Clintwood. <laughs> did you see what okay. we did with John Travolta, by the way? You did something with John Travolta? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You haven't heard those? No. Don't get your bloomers in a twist. Chit chain chain <laughs> chit chain chain I, I was so... Oh, tell me about John. Tell me about John. Well, it wasn't just one person who saw him at that party dressed like a dame. There were more than 30 people, and several of them took his photograph. But since they know he's so powerful, they're not spreading it around, but they do show the pictures on their camera phones to each other and and they've gotten all over and we got a, a couple of the originals and we've got them up on the site so he's a cross dresser yes but we love him anyway oh gosh yes so we were saying that if he got somebody to really like shape his eyebrows properly and 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 do his arms he could make a, a halfway decent day but he would have to fix those big macho jowls that would have well, to go. But the, the problem is, he's always been such a macho man. And to see him, it's not just that he put on the little blouse, but he made sure that he had a little bra underneath it and a little girdle and a little skirt and the, and the jacket with the little buttons and the little pearls. He went to a lot of trouble with a lot of the details like that. And then he spoke in a very high-pitched voice. And he did that for the entire party in that character. It was not a... A Halloween party or costume ball. No one else was dressed like that. He was the only one who showed up at the party dressed like that. So this was a costume ball? No, it was not. It was a regular cocktail party, and he showed up in drag. Well, it's probably inappropriate, but then that would be my middle name. John Travolta, you are welcome to get in my skirt any day of the week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> See, Just saying. <laughs> the difficulty is that we all love him, number one. Number two, the difficulty is you got. we have to remember that he lost a child last year. And yes. losing a child can make anyone come unhinged. So I'm Crazy. saying Crazy. I, I yeah. think he's losing his pantaloons on the basis of having lost a child. And it's making him come unhinged. That's what I think. That's what I think because I, we loved John Travolta. Yes. We love him. But, you know, people that we love can come unhinged. And in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, everybody had to whisper about it. Oh, my God. But now we don't have to anymore. John, John, just for me, if you need a hug, it's right here. Anytime. <laughs> Call Kyle from Cal. I I'm not far. I'm not far. <laughs> and you can reach Kyle at news at syndicatednews.net that's right john i don't care what you're wearing <laughs> at all oh my it's too bad he's married to that gorgeous gal but yeah you know. and she's and she's suffering tremendously through all of, of this she is. of course she's got little children with him you know yeah yeah anyway i thank you for I really, really appreciate it, and we're going, You're welcome. we're going to wrap this up. This is Ruthie on the East Coast. And Kyle on the West Coast. I can see the ocean from my window instead of Russia like some famous women. Like Palin, she can see Russia from her window. She can see, and I can see the ocean from my window. How about that? Photograph the ocean and send it to us, won't you? Yes, I, I will. Quick it so that we can put it on the front page. Quick it to us. I, I will, but not this minute. No, no, no. Whenever you feel like it. Okie dokie. For instance, when the sun's setting. Oh, how lovely that would be. Oh, I, I, I do that every day. Oh. I take my dogs and walk on the beach. Oh, my. It's called Seaside Beach that's right outside my window. <laughs> Life doesn't get better than that, I tell you. It doesn't. You can get your cheap Costco dog that's fabulous and delicious with an ocean view. 
That's, that's just stunning. Anyway, let's wrap it up. This is Ruthie on the East Coast and Kyle on the West Coast. And we're on Tell Us. Tell Us, Tell Us. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>